Yo, what is up? Today is a very exciting day because I've been waiting for this day for quite a while right now because we're gonna be field testing Zion's newest gimbal, the Crane 3 Lab. Now, when you look at this thing for the first time, it just feels like it's out of the movies or something. We have arrived to this place where we're gonna be filming electrical drifting trikes. I think they're called like that. They are quite fast as well as unpredictable, so we're gonna be really putting this thing to the test and see whether it can keep up with the challenge or not. And also let's see if we can get some dope footage out of this one. Also, I want to do a shout out for this place, Driftahalla, because they allowed us to film here for a couple of hours so we don't have to worry about us being kicked out and we can get some dope footage. Yep, let's go. So let's do the first thing which is balancing. Uh, what I really liked about the Cray 2 was that it was incredibly easy to balance stuff. Even on the Weebill it was really quick and easy because of that re a quick release system. And yes, this gimbal has a quick release system as well, but we actually switch the lenses so often that the quick release system is just eh, kind of useless to us right now. But I really like the system of this one. You just put it in like this. And once you hear the click, you can just start moving it forwards and backwards until you get it level. The good thing about this is that you can lock the motors and then you don't have to worry about all the other axes, but I don't really do that because it just takes extra time. So right now we have the first axis balanced and you just close up this little thing. Boom, that's it. Now we have to balance it left and right and it is balanced. All right, I think we have pretty much balanced it perfectly right now. Uh, the one thing I really like about the Crane 3 is that the motors are so powerful, um, it can have a couple of imperfections when it comes to balancing and it's gonna still do a really good job. It's not gonna, the motors are not gonna vibrate, so I really, really enjoy that. And the last part which we have to balance is this part. Many people don't know really how to balance the, um, this axis and how you do it, you just hold it sideways and if it tilts uh, forwards or backwards, you just need to adjust it. Yeah, sometimes I actually, I just swap the lenses and I don't even rebalance it. I just turn it on because I don't have enough time. And it does a very good job at that. Yeah, this will be close enough. And we're pretty much ready. And now I don't have to rebalance it for the rest of the day pretty much, which is really, really good. All right, let's go shoot some stuff. So one thing I don't particularly enjoy about this gimbal is the fact that it folds up in a really weird way. If you wanna put this in your bag, well, to be honest with you, I don't think it's gonna fit even in one of the bigger bags. But uh, other than that, I did manage to fit it in my bag, but uh, there are a little, little scratches here and there because of that, but at least I can transport it. Yeah, for traveling, this isn't really gonna be your gimbal. All right, so one thing I really like about the Crane 3 is the fact that all of the buttons are, well, right here. You don't have to lift it up, look behind it, you know. All the modes, all the most necessary modes, in my opinion, are here. Follow mode, POV mode. Yeah, bro, that's all I need. Another thing I really do enjoy is this OLED screen. So I can see the mode I'm in, I can see the battery life. But to be honest with you, that doesn't really matter because this unit has, I don't know, I think it was 18 hours of battery life. That is just mind blowing. Back at it again with the good old Crane 2 days, bro. Yeah, the one thing I don't really understand is the POV mode with this gimbal. I just, I think this, I think I need to go to the app and change some settings here and there because right now, if you look, it's way too sensitive and it doesn't really respond the way I like it to respond. So once again, once, once you get the crane through, you have to kind of fiddle around with the settings in order to get those really smooth cinematic shots but right now the pov mode sometimes glitches on me which i don't really like and the worst thing is if it glitches on me 
you cannot recenter the gimbal while you're in the POV mode. That is weird. I would love for it to recenter and switch, I don't know, to follow mode or something like that. But right now, you have to click on the follow mode and then recenter. And the next thing, recentering. My God, this is like one of the most amazing things I have ever seen. Look, right now it's like filming somewhere up. I don't want that. I want to recenter it. So instead of like double tapping somewhere, you just click this button, which is recenter. You click it once and it automatically recenters. That is the best thing ever, seriously. But yeah, one thing I don't really enjoy. Listen, listen to this one. The, the tripod is like, the little tripod is broken. I don't know, it's maybe just me, but every single time, like I get a new Zion product, the tripod legs are a little bit broken or flimsy, and I don't really like that because right now it feels like it's gonna break any second. So what do you think about it so far? The crane? Yeah. I mean, it's really comfortable, and like this is literally my second time using it, and it's not that difficult to like learn it, so. I mean, like now I'm failing, but whatever. <laughs> and I like this little handle here. It's really comfortable and you can go really low once you actually take this off and you can go super low so yeah try one of my favorite things what i enjoy about this gimbal is the fact that you can go really low to the ground and you're not really going to be feeling a lot of weight on it that is fantastic because with the crane too once you do it uh, once you put it in the inverted bone you, mode you have to hold it in a, on, like in a weird angle and it just doesn't feel natural with this i think i can you saw i did a whole lap following that trike without stopping in this like lower angle mode and it felt fantastic. The way they designed this gimbal is just, to be honest with you, kind of mind blowing because, well, I would have never imagined gimbals looking like this, to be honest with you. Ah, but the one thing, yeah, is the portability. You can't really travel with this gimbal because I bet you're gonna barely be able to fit it in your, in your backpack because, uh, well, I have a huge bag, okay? And it barely fits in there. So for commercials, for paid shoots, paid gigs, this is gonna be amazing. But for traveling, well, not really. One thing I really appreciate Zhiyun is, is the fact that the joystick is somewhere, somewhere where I will never accidentally touch it. And I really, really appreciate that because I don't use the joystick at all. Um, about the modes. Come on, everyone knows that these gimbals can do follow mode, lock mode, vertex mode. One thing about the Crane 3 I already noticed, it's a lot more convenient to do these uh, down at the top shots. It's just super convenient and it doesn't lag, especially if you do these movements. Like, yeah, I like that. All right, so I'm gonna try it. I already can tell when it comes to these shots, stuff like this is super easy, super convenient. I can do one-handed, keep the balance with the other hand, it's good, it feels just great. To be honest with you, I am not a huge fan of the vortex mode, but it's there if you need it. Um, one of my favorite things is definitely the follow mode, especially the fact that you can get super close to the ground and get these kind of really cool cinematic shots. One thing I have to do with this gimbal right now is make all of the movements a little bit slower, because right now it's like, especially in the POV mode, like check this out, this thing is all over the place once you put it in the POV, POV mode, bro. But yeah, this was only the first impressions video. I'm gonna be making a thorough review afterwards because I still wanna use it on a couple of projects. We're gonna be using this while filming drifting. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this gimbal, I'm gonna try to answer everything as honestly as possible. You know the drill, peace out.